We begin with the ongoing dispute over the Diaoyu Islands, the impact of which is now being felt directly here in the United States. Chinese Americans are joining their counterparts on the mainland, expressing their extreme anger toward the Japanese government over its handling of the situation. From Washington to the west coast of the United States, they're protesting to make their feelings known. And it comes as China announces plans to send a detailed map to the United Nations clearly outlining China's territory in the East China Sea. The document should be completed soon, delineating such areas as the Diaoyu Islands. It will then be handed over to the UN at a later date. Still, in the face of such opposition, Japan is not backing down. And as CCTV's Emily Drew reports, that's leading to some widespread anger. Protect the Diaoyu Islands. 200 Chinese American protesters rallied at the Japanese embassy in Washington, D.C. on Sunday. Their message was clear. We believe uh, Diaoyu Islands belong to China, and uh, we're here to support uh, Chinese people. The argument over the islands reignited this summer. First in August, Japanese police arrested 14 Chinese citizens on the islands. Then in September, the Japanese government announced it had nationalized and purchased three islands. This is the, uh, actually unilaterally, aggressively, you know, uh, provocation to China government. Speakers at the protests said China's rule of the islands began in the 15th century. That's 400 years before Japan claimed the area. I think the island is uh, uh, very clearly a uh, part of China. Uh, no matter from uh, uh, historically or ge geographically. Treaties in 1951 and 1971 between Japan and the U.S. put the islands under Japanese control. China strongly opposed and never acknowledged either agreement. Some protesters said they want the United States to step out of the argument. We are protesting because the State Department is siding with the Japanese. The Chinese Americans chose a significant date for their gathering. At this time in 1931, Japan invaded China. For some protesters, including a few World War II veterans, emotions were raw. I am very outraged. I'm hungry. This I feel. Protesters offered the Japanese embassy an official letter with the first demand being to, quote, respect Chinese sovereignty of the Diaoyu Islands. They also asked for a peaceful solution between China and Japan, just as other protesters throughout the United States have recently. Other protests have taken place in San Francisco, Austin, Houston, Chicago, and several other cities. Emily Drew, CCTV, Washington. United States Defense Secretary Leon Panetta is in Asia this week. Just a short time ago, he stated that the United States is officially neutral on the territorial dispute, and he urged all involved to settle their disputes peacefully.